of Massachusetts, who's putting on that program 28 uh, uh, for 28, which is uh, trying to receive um, obtain a constitutional amendment, the 20th constitutional amendment to the United States Constitution for fathers' rights. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about that. We're going to ask him some questions. We have our attorney John Elias, who's here, who's a How you all doing? family lawyer attorney. He's, this is our second visit to our program. Thank you, for John, for coming out. You're welcome. You had a long day at work, and yes. you're here giving extra time to the dads that so need uh, some tutelage and some mentorship. And we have Mr. Bogdan Lindell. Mr. Bogdan Lindell, he's a dad, uh, I believe he's from Ukraine originally, and he faced an issue like many of us face with our children, and he's assisting putting together that 28 um 28 of the 28 movement on washington dc which is which is taking place next week let's see who else we have here uh we have a couple of uh, folks here so have somebody new rochelle sent sentio um, unmute yourself and tell us what city and what state you're from hi everyone my name is rochelle Centeo, and i am from massachusetts i received this link from judy foster a constituent um, who shared that this was an initiative that, you know, our office should learn a bit more about. I'm coming from State Senator Liz Miranda's office. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for coming. Um, yeah, this is a, the Good Dad Act Committee, and we were formed to try to, not try to, to make sure that we do everything we can to help fathers obtain equal rights to their children all across the nation. I'm going to play a video in a second in regards to the Good Dad Act Committee here in South here in South Florida, which uh, we consider a national a national endeavor because we change the law in Florida unlike has ever been done in the history of the United States. There's been no law <clears throat> actually passed to provide fathers equal rights to the children. Most laws in most states don't mention fathers. So you probably see some dads that separate from the mother for whatever reason, and they seek to have time with their child and they get stymied either by the courts or by the mother because because of bitterness or they just don't get along anymore and we feel that you know just because the parents don't get along don't mean the parents get along can't get along with their children so i'm gonna i'm gonna uh share a an interview to start off the program and we get back we're going to talk to our special guests meanwhile in the background people will be joining us and asking questions matter of fact before i start i think we have uh, Mr. Michael Horn. Michael Horn, are you there? Unmute yourself if you're there. Or Kasasi. Kasasi, no. go ahead. Give us the rules of engagement so that we can have everybody know how they can ask questions and how they should do that so that everybody can get a chance to speak and have a fair chance to say something when we start having, you know, a couple more 10, 15 people join us tonight. And I Hello, am everybody. present. My name is Kisasi Swan. I am the team leader here and excuse me. And Good old sunny Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, working on getting it, um, getting the Good Dad Act passed out here in um, Arizona right now. Um, thank you guys, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for uh, taking your time out today. Your busy schedule. I know it's been a long day for a lot of us. Thank you for coming out and joining us and working on getting this uh, initiative passed uh, nationwide. Um, today, you know, we just like to. Um, let everybody know this is pretty much a place where we can um, speak freely, you know, but we're not a, you know, we're not a, a woman bashing or a mom bashing um, organization. Um, we're just looking to just try to, you know, get, um, you know, equal rights for for us dads as well. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, please use the, the hand raise right here and Dr. Jennings will um, call you in order. You know, let's try to keep our questions, you know, short so we can get everybody, um, you know, so everybody can, you know, have a chance to speak as well. A um, little bit about myself. Like I said, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I've been fighting for custody for my daughter for almost 10 years now. She's 10 and a half. Um, you know, she's the light of my life and the reason why I'm doing this. So I've been blessed to meet Dr. Um, Bernard Jennings um, about a year ago and I've been um, with him faithfully on this journey. Um, you know, so that's that's it. Thank you. Back to you, Dr. Jennings. Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies again. Um, those of you who don't know either, um, check out his book. Sorry, my background is kind of blurring it though. He has the uh, Ethan's Good Dad Act um, book. You can get on Amazon. It's number one and number one seller in family family category. 
family law category. Uh, what is it again, Dr. Jenny? <laughs> in, in the divorce and family law genre, as well as the child advocacy. Yes. Yeah, that what he said. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much, um, Kasasi. We have a couple of the uh, team leaders here. We have team leaders, in case you didn't know, we have team leaders in at least 13 states, um, but 13 and a half, because I'm going to consider Mike Jones a half team leader. He's struggling to become on the team leader side of things, but he'll be there within the next couple of weeks, right, Mike Jones, in Nevada. We also have uh, team leaders in U.S. Virgin Islands, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, North Carolina, Indiana, Iowa, Alabama, and Arizona and counting, so, and Illinois. So if you know anybody that's in another state that we haven't mentioned, please um, direct them to go to www.gooddadact.com so that we can help them to become a team leader and, and put the bill 775 Ethan's Good Dad Act in their state. Can everybody see my screen? We're gonna begin this, this uh, three minute video real quick. Bernard Jennings, it's so good to see you here at the DNC. Thank you so much for having me. Well, we have to talk about Ethan's Good Dad Act, which was just recently passed. And it's amazing to run into you here because this is a, a major feat that was accomplished at the state level. Yes, it's the only law in the country that provides fathers with equal rights to their children. It's called House Bill 775. The legal name is Parental Responsibility After the Determination of Paternity. And what it does, it says that when a father steps up, he's already on the birth certificate, he has the same rights and responsibilities as the mother as if he was married, although they're not. So it provides fathers a great opportunity to be able to get involved in their children's lives because they are backed by the law now. Every state of the country says that if a mother has a child out of wedlock, the mother's a natural guardian of the child. It doesn't even mention the father in the law. That's why a lot of fathers have a hard time connecting with their children from a small age. So for starters, tell me a little bit about what some of these other fathers that you've worked with have experienced and then a little more about how people can kind of get to know you and your group. Yes. And well, um, we formed a group called the Good Dad Act Committee. We're available on gooddadact.com where we've asked fathers to join as a member and we provided an attorney to come on every Tuesday night at eight o'clock on a Google Meet. It's a free podcast that we do and they get to ask questions of the attorneys in a more relaxed, relaxed way. We had invited some judges, sitting judges, and a lot of fathers just don't understand the system. And it takes a lot of money to go to court, it's upwards of three, four thousand dollars just to walk in the door. And if you're you're a, a, a middle class person, don't have the funds, don't have a savings, you know, it, it, a lot of times it takes three, four thousand dollars just to buy a home, and you can't do that. So fathers have come to us asking for legal advice or just some education advice. How do they handle mediation? What do they ask for? What are the requirements for you to establish paternity? And you know, it's, it's a very important thing. A lot of fathers walk around with PTSD. They have a, you know, we don't talk as men, we don't talk about failed relationships. We don't talk about time away from our children. We're probably angry on the inside and you, you see us mad about something, you're not sure what it is, but inside we're in pain because we don't have a relationship with our children. And 81% of, of the men that are in prison, if you ask them, they have a child outside of the prison that's growing up without a father. And that's a bad thing in society because fathers, children need leadership, both daughters and and sons need leadership from their dads. Mothers are very important. I love my mother. I have a mother. <laughs> She's <laughs> passed away now. But, um, you know, children need their fathers as well. It's a balance. Yeah, well, I mean, and the, the bottom line is, if you're having trouble with establishing paternity, if you're having trouble, you know, basically being able to see your kid mm -hmm. for whatever reason, there is a group out there that's going to gonna help, help you immediately. Mm -hmm. You can hook up. Yes. With you, with uh, and tell me, tell me again the name. It's the Good Dad Act Committee, and we're nationwide. It's actually a nationwide movement. We have team leaders in 13 other states now that I mentioned, and we have meetings online. They're free meetings. We have mothers on the meetings, some grandmothers, because you know when, what happens when a when a mother and a father don't get along and she absconds with the child. Do you know who suffers? The child suffers, but the grandmother suffers. The aunties and the uncles on the other side of the family, they don't get to see the child either. They miss out on that whole uh, legacy of the other generation of the other family, the other side of the family. There's two sides of the family. The mother didn't have that child on her own. The father was present at some point. You know, and unfortunately, sometimes we don't get along and we have to split, but that doesn't mean the child should be affected by that. The child needs both parents.